Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about diabetes is lactic acidosis. So I've been studying old school textbooks prior to World War II, and they are on physiology and medicine and the discoveries of the scientists back then. Now, before World War II, medical research was all feeding studies, nutrition studies, diet studies. So what they would do is take food and they would take out a vitamin, like there was no vitamin A in a particular diet, and they fed that to pigs, and they would see what would happen. And so that's just an example. And um, after World War II, it became chemical research. Here it takes this poison, let's see what happens. And that's the way it's been since after World War II. So I have a book from 1931 called Practical Endocrinology by the father of endocrinology. His name is Henry Harrower. And in this book, he says, in severe cases of acidosis, comma, as in diabetes mellitus, comma, and he goes on with the sentence. And so he's saying that acidosis is diabetes and vice versa. And in this 650-page manual that he wrote, there's one page on acidosis at the beginning of the book, and in it he says, I'll be referring to acidosis throughout the book since it is the mechanism of endocrine pathologies. So later in the book, he's got a chapter on adrenals, and he's got a paragraph on acidosis. And then he's got a chapter on the pituitary gland, and a few sentences on acidosis. And that's how it goes throughout the book. So the, the spine, if you will, of endocrine pathologies back in 1931 was lactic acidosis. And it was well known by all the profession, uh, professionals back then through 1960, and then this all got squashed in 1961 by you-know-who, the FDA. So, here's lactic acidosis. <clears throat> and here's how it works with diabetes. So here's sugar being burned by the cell and being used as fuel. Sugar needs to be converted to pyruvate before it gets used as an energy source. The, the, uh, the breakdown of sugar to pyruvate yields waste products. Lactate, acetate, ethanol, acetaldehyde, clump all those poisons together, and it's called lactic acidosis. That's this. And then those waste products need to be cleaned out by the liver. So the liver needs to be clean of heavy metals and chemicals. It needs to have all of its nutrients, like B, all, the B, all 24 B vitamins. And some of this gets converted back into sugar. This is called the lactic acid cycle. So in diabetes, you have cells burning sugar very fast. So you get a buildup of waste products here. Also in diabetes, the, the liver doesn't work very well. Now, in the, in the control of sugar in the blood, there's two hormones. One's called insulin. You've heard of it. The other hormone is called insulin-like growth factor. Insulin comes from the pancreas. Insulin-like growth factor comes from the liver. The insulin-like growth factor is 10 times more important than insulin. It controls your blood sugar between meals. The insulin controls your blood sugar uh, immediately after the meal. So insulin-like growth factor from the liver is the biggest key for uh, reversing diabetes. So the point is, your liver has to be functioning extremely well. So you got to get it cleaned out detoxified, get all the B vitamins into your, um, into your body. So that means eating liver. That also means eating nutritional yeast and rice bran. Um, I can get, talk about that in another uh, video. So now, um, so I have a patient. She did uh, a blood test for nutrients in her body. And she's been with me about, oh, four months, maybe five months. Now, as a result of this blood test, we learned several things. Number one, she's got her B vitamins are very deficient. And the, the test measured eight or nine different B vitamins. Every single one of, the, every single one of them is um, in the red, if you will. It's extremely low. The other thing that's interesting is that her cholesterol was 268. And it's the highest it's ever been in her whole life. And she got mad at me because I have her eating two eggs in the morning. And so she thinks that eating fat has been detrimental to her body. Well, the truth is, her liver is not working right. 
because if her liver was working right, her cholesterol would be nor normal and all of her B vitamins would be high. So the liver stores enough B12 to last 10 months or for many years. This is the storage warehouse for B vitamins. And another thing is the liver is not a storage warehouse for toxins. It's just a processing factory to get the toxins out. It's not a storage warehouse. So the point with this patient is that we're going to clean her liver out. In the meantime, she's going back to oatmeal because she wants to. And, uh, but, and she's not digesting fat, so I'm helping her gallbladder too. And then we got to load her up on B vitamins. So we're, we're just thinking smarter here than what the medical doctor told her. The MD said, oh, your cholesterol is high. Um, you're doing it wrong. And I said, oh, your cholesterol is high. Your liver and gallbladder aren't working very well. And by the way, your B vitamins are too low. Your liver and gallbladder aren't working very well. And, I, and there's going to be other symptoms that she has because her liver and gallbladder aren't working very well. We've got to fix it. The only way you can fix that is with nutrition, supplements, herbs, homeopathy. There's no drug in all of medicine that fixes the liver. So, so getting back to diabetes, you want to get the sugar out of your blood. Now this is an interesting point here, is that you've been told by the dietitian and the medical doctor to keep your blood sugar up, but not too high up. And if it goes too low, eat some candy. Now it'll spike it up. Now take some insulin to bring it down. You're just playing games with insulin levels. Now if you have type 2 diabetes, adult, adult onset, it's easier to control. And uh, what you want to do is increase your fat intake by a lot. Healthy fat. Increase it by a lot. Hopefully your liver is working well and you can digest it. And you're, you're going to, um, as the fat goes up, you're not going to be hungry for sugar. The sugar goes down in your blood. You're eating less sugar. You're eating low carb. You're eating moderate protein. Protein burns like sugar. So high healthy fat, moderate protein, low carb. Now your sugar may go down to 65. Is that dangerous? Uh, really, it's not. You may feel really bad, but if you feel bad, it's because you're not eating enough fat. So increase your fat more. As a matter of fact, you might want to start by increasing your fat first, then decreasing the carbs, and then decreasing the protein. So you got to get that fat intake up. So um, there are people who used to be diabetic, and their blood sugar goes down to 55 or even... 50, but yet their fat, their ketones, the ketones are the uh, favorite fat that the body likes to burn. Their ketones go up and they feel great. And then their diabetes is gone because they're not burning sugar anymore. It's not a problem. The sugar is down. Ketones are up. They're back to normal. And they're eating the way that all of our ancestors used to eat 200 years ago, 2000 years ago. Every, all of our ancestors were fat burners. And this, um, idea that we should be sugar burners is just brand new just in the last uh, 60 years. So everybody in this country is burning sugar because our diets are what they are. We need to go back to what they used to be 200 years ago and burn fat. So the key for getting rid of diabetes and, and, the, and the, regarding lactic acidosis, get the sugar out of the blood, start burning fat in the cells. The lactic acid part, the, the waste goes away because there's no waste burning fat. And you got to make sure your liver is working really well. And this is what I do with people. We think with this. You have to think with this. And, um, and lactic acidosis. This is the key to reversing all chronic disease. And because this is the mechanism of how our tissues, our cells, our organs break down. This is the mechanism of the breakdown of our, of our cells, therefore our tissues, therefore our organs. So I hope I answered some questions. I've had quite a few re um, requests to talk about diabetes and lactic acidosis. Um, and this is phenomenal information. There's lots of information online, um, on YouTube and articles. Just search around, look for ketosis, ketogenic diet. There's um, supplements, there's diet plans, and there's more and more medical um, and holistic professionals and dietitians and nutritionists that are um, getting people into ketosis and um, one thing that's missing, I, I think, though, throughout our culture, our holistic healthcare culture, is the 24B vitamins that clean up the lactic acidosis. We're spending a lot of time studying this and doing this, which is great. It's a great first start. But let's not 
we got we to gotta address this waste. We got to fix the liver up with detoxification and supplying as many B vitamins as we possibly can. So if you have any questions or comments, you can just put them in the comment box. I monitor this YouTube channel uh, quite a bit. I answer every request, every question. Um, you may not like the answer, but um, I'm kind of restricted to what I can say regarding what the FDA says. And I'm also restricted if you're not a patient and I've never talked to you on the phone and all that, I can't answer some of your questions because I don't know the status of your health or whoever you're talking about. If you're talking about your child, I need to get some uh, questions answered from you in order for me to have a good answer for you. Okay, so there it is.